All right, the existence of choice B here tells me I need to think about sentence structure. Am I going to be chopping this thing up? Okay, that's really what it comes down to. So we're looking for where do sentences begin and end. On July 23rd, 1854, a clipper ship called the Flying Cloud entered San Francisco Bay. Now, I could end the sentence there. I don't know yet whether I need to, but that is definitely a place where a sentence could end. That's a complete idea with a subject and a verb. Uh, we have a clipper ship um, entered San Francisco. Those are the subjects and the verb. Okay. Um, continuing. Uh, let's kind of read choice B here. Having left New York Harbor under the guidance of Captain Josiah Perkins Creasy and his wife, Navigator Eleanor Creasy, a mere 89 days and eight hours earlier, the celebrated ship set a record that would stand for 135 years. So, okay. Um, what's tricky here is there's a version of these sentences where choice C might be okay. Okay. We could add on a little extra here with a comma. We could say something like, a clipper ship entered San Francisco having left New York Harbor under the guidance of this captain. That would be perfectly fine. But that extra part continues. And it, if we continue to read it, we see that it actually ends up being its own little sentence. So um, you've got to be really careful here. Let me try to highlight where the sentence is. So the green is going to be the sentence. Um, the celebrated ship set a record that would stand for 135 years. That's a sentence. We could stand that on its own. Now, everything before that is kind of like a lot of extra clauses. We have to be careful here. We have some extra clauses that are obvious. Um, uh, navigator Eleanor Creasy is clearly an extra clause that is describing his wife. It's in a positive. Um, <laughs> geez, there's a lot of commas here. So there's that comma. There's this comma. So we have another, that kind of extra clause is within an extra clause here. Um, the real uh, way to read this is, um, yeah, if we ignore the, the, the description of Eleanor, it would read like this. Having left New York Harbor under the guise of Captain Josiah Perkins Creasy and his wife a mere 89 days and eight hours earlier, the celebrated ships at a record that would stand for 135 years. So it's a very long intro. In fact, it's, a, it's an intro that's longer than the sentence itself. And the intro has its own interruption. So you can do that. If you have an extra clause, you can interrupt the extra clause with another extra clause. That's allowed in English. Um, but in all cases, we're using commas to separate things out. So B is going to be the answer because the real problem would be connecting the green that's at the end to the sentence that's at the beginning that's not highlighted. A clipper ship entered San Francisco Bay. That's a sentence. And so, yes, we could add things on. But because the thing we're adding on kind of continues on and on and on until we discover that it's got a real sentence, a full sentence at the end of it, um, we, we realize this is actually a, a run on that would have a lot of stuff in between, but is still connecting to independent clauses in a way that they're not allowed to be connected. There is a world where we could use a word like and to do it. I think it's too confusing here. But if we're going to use a word like and, a conjunction to connect two sentences, then that and has to be accompanied by a comma, and it's not in this case. So uh, that's why that's wrong. And D would never be right. There's We definitely need some sort of comma to show whether we're adding something on or not here. And so C, again, it could be right if it, things were worded differently, but uh, in this case, it just it continues too long, and we get to another sentence at the end. And so we have to realize that, and it's why it's always important especially especially when they're testing punctuation and sentence structure. It's so important to read everything that you're given and really understand the structure of the passage.